subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated to my latest videos. Hey there, welcome to this tutorial on wordpress.com versus wordpress.org. If you are new to wordpress, you might be wondering what the difference is between these two platforms. Well, in this video, we will be comparing wordpress.com and wordpress.org and help you understand which one is right for you. Let's talk about the basic comparison between wordpress.com and wordpress.org. Let's start with wordpress.com. WordPress.com is a fully hosted platform which means that all you need to do is sign up for an account and start creating content. You don't have to worry about managing the technical aspects of your website such as hosting, security and backups. WordPress.com also comes with a limited set of features and themes which makes it easier for beginners to use. Now let's move on to WordPress.org. WordPress.org is a self-hosted platform, which means that you need to download and install the WordPress software on your own web hosting server. This gives you complete control over your website and allows you to add any features or themes you want. However, it also means that you need to take care of technical aspects of your website, such as hosting, security, and backups. One of the biggest differences between WordPress.com and WordPress.org is the cost. WordPress.com offers a range of plans including a free plan with limited features and ads on your website. If you want to remove the ads and access more features, you will need to upgrade to a paid plan which can cost anywhere from $4 to $45 per month. On the other hand, WordPress.org is free to download and use. But you will need to pay for web hosting which can cost anywhere from $5 to $50 per month. Another major difference between WordPress.com and WordPress.org is the level of customization. WordPress.com offers a limited set of themes and plugins and you can't upload your own custom theme or plugins. This means that your website will look similar to other WordPress.com websites. However, WordPress.org offers complete customization and you can upload your own custom themes and plugins to create a unique website that stands out from the rest. Finally, let's talk about maintenance. With WordPress.com, all the technical aspects of your website are taken care of for you, including updates, backups, and security. However, with WordPress.org, you are responsible for maintaining your website. This means that you need to keep your website software, themes, and plugins up to date, perform regular backups, and take care of your website's security. So, which one is right for you? If you are a beginner or don't want to worry about the technical aspects of your website, WordPress.com might be the better option for you. But if you want complete control over your website and the ability to customize it to your heart's content, WordPress.org is the way to go. Ultimately, the choice between WordPress.com and WordPress.org depends on your individual needs and preferences. I hope this video has helped you understand the differences between WordPress.com and WordPress.org. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel for more content like this. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks again and I will see you in the next video.